here are 10 mistakes that you should avoid in mcq exams hey guys welcome to my channel i'm ananya if you're new here please subscribe so i know the term one exams are approaching and you guys of the classes 10th and 12th are giving mcq exams using an omr sheet for the very first time so i wanted to share some mistakes that most students make your board exams are definitely very very important so you cannot afford to make such stupid mistakes if you're ready to ace your exams give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started the first mistake most students make is not utilizing the reading time efficiently i guess you guys have a time of 15 to 20 minutes in your board exams and it is crucial for you guys to read the questions carefully and look out for words like not or untrue or incorrect except because these are the tricky words and in case you miss out on them your question will go completely wrong the second mistake most students make is attempting the difficult questions first now once you're done reading the questions it's always a great idea to start with each easier questions because obviously you will be able to solve them easily and quickly and that will also build your confidence that yes I do know the exam and I can answer all the questions otherwise if you start with difficult questions firstly you will waste a lot of time on those questions and you will be demotivated thinking ki mujhe to exam mein kuch aata hai nahi hai which is obviously not the case the next mistake students make is not having an idea of what the OMR sheet looks like and not practicing on it beforehand it's very important for you guys to practice using an OMR sheet because that will make you used to the whole board exam pattern and you will be less likely to make mistakes related to the OMR sheet in the board exam and since it's always a good idea to practice sample papers using an OMR sheet I want to let you know about Oswald book CBSE sample question papers for the term 1 exam in this sample paper book OMR sheets are given after each and every sample paper which is perfect for your practice all the sample papers in this book are strictly according to the term 1 syllabus that was released by CBSC. All the sample papers here are exam targeted. There are 5 solved and 10 self-assessment papers. The solutions of the self-assessment papers are available on Oswald Books website. This book also includes the official sample paper released by CBSC in September. And it includes all the types of MCQ questions that is assertion and reason, case-based MCQs as well as standalone MCQs which is very important for your practice. All the answers in this book are given with detailed explanations for your better understanding and it includes all the academically important questions for your board exams. Another good feature of this book is that you can learn more with mind maps and you can also use the on the tips notes for quick revision so you can easily go through the chapters before solving the sample papers and for detailed study you can simply scan the QR code given in this book and yeah I would totally recommend you guys to check this book out. I'll put the link in the description. Definitely check it out. And as I'm frequently asked which sample papers are the best, let me tell you all the books are equally good and every book always has 5 to 10% extra. And obviously, the more you practice, the better. The fourth mistake students make is marking the answer without reading all the options. So, a lot of times, students just see the first option and think, like, yeah, this is correct, and just ignore all the other options, which is is obviously not a wise decision at all. It is extremely important for you to read each and every option before you finally mark the answer because sometimes two three options are correct and there may be an option of all of the above or both B and C but if you're someone who just tends to read the first option and then mark it instead read the options in a reverse order. Another mistake students make is filling the OMR sheet in the end but according to me it is not a good idea at all because end moment pe you start passing panicking because you don't have to mark the answers, it's very fast and you don't have to and you never know how much time will you end when you have after solving the entire exam. So it's better to mark the answers simultaneously or you can also mark the answers after every 2-3 questions. Do not mark the answers of the questions you have not answered because in a hurry you will be marking all the answers in order but if you've left
left a question in between pura order mess up ho jayega and your omr sheet will be ruined so make sure to carefully mark each and every answer after tallying it from your question paper now the next thing is wasting a lot of time on one single question that will lead to shortage of time in the end and you will not be able to solve the questions you actually knew the answers to so make sure you're not spending more than 2 to 3 minutes on a question obviously depending on the subject and the question type agar answer nahi samajh mein aa raha hai to just leave the question maybe baki paper solve karte karte tumhe answer yaad aa jaye or you might get a hint now another thing jo kafi students karte hai is they look for a pattern in the omr sheet first question ka answer a hai second ka b hai fir third ka c hai and then the cycle continues इट कुड सिंपली बी अ को इंसिडेंस डू नॉट एज्यूम के अच्छा पहले चार क्वेश्चन में तो ये पैटर्न बन रहा है पूरे क्वेश्चन पेपर में सेम पैटर्न होगा एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट द आंसर आर कंप्लीटली मिक्सड अप न अनदर थिंग कंसिडरिंग दी ओ एम आर शीट इज दैट मेनी पीपल जस्ट टेन टू नॉट कलर द सर्कल कंप्लीटली और आधा फिल करके छोड़ देते हैं डू नॉट डू दैट बिकॉज योर आंसर विल देन नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर कंप्लीटली फिलिंग द सर्कल एंड देर इज नो वाइट स्पेस लेस सो टेक योर टाइम मार्क द आंसर Answer accurately and with precision. अब काफी बार students question ही छोड़ के आ जाते हैं just because they don't know the answer. CBSE के board exam में कोई negative marking नहीं है. So make sure to mark some answer and come at least. अगर ज़्यादा questions attempt करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. If there is an option, then you can leave it. If you haven't even answered the minimum number of questions required, तो कुछ भी mark करके आ जाओ. लेकिन mark तो कर दो कम से कम. क्या पता तुक्के से तुम्हारा answer सही हो रहा है. And last but not the least, काफी students को अपने आंसर शीट में मार्किंग करने की आदत होती है बट प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इज एन ओ एम आर बेस्ड एग्जाम सो डू नॉट मेक एनी काइंड ऑफ अननेसेसरी मार्किंग इवन यूजिंग अ पेंसिल कुछ मार्क करने की जरूरत नहीं है योर ओ एम आर शीट शुड बी नीट एंड क्लीन एंड यूर दीज आर द टेन कॉमनली मेड मिस्टेक्स बाई स्टूडेंट बट नाउ दैट यू वॉच दिस वीडियो आई नो यू गाइज विल नॉट बी मेकिंग दीज मिस्टेक्स इफ यू मेड इट टेल हियर कॉमेंट दीज इमोजीज एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो अगेन सो दैट यू डू नॉट रिपीट दीज मिस्टेक्स इन योर board exam and as always obviously this is my way of looking at things but your exam strategies could be different so obviously do what works for you practice sample papers and you will be able to make your own strategies as well and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends follow me on instagram and until next time bye